Welcome to another episode of the Huge Podcast. <laughs> the Huge Podcast. I, I told you I was off. <laughs> city where I've been ch- dying to come home to. I like this when nobody's watching. You're all alone with your thoughts and perfect time to think about a lot of things. Take a step back and reevaluate, reassess the situation. As you all know, I screwed up last April and find myself stuck in the sand pit in the UAE. Um, luckily, there are a lot of good people out there um, who have sheltered me since then. And, you know, it's just, a, it's just amazing where, where I thought I was done people start showing compassion, empathy. My ass always think like, even though you're, you're at the lowest of low, good things still happen. How and why? So I'm still alive. Well, ever since that day, I always thought, I always think about gratitude. I'm thankful each day I'm still here. Mm, no matter how fucked up the situation has become, I'm still alive. I'm still doing my workouts. I'm still doing the podcast with my co-host. Uh, he's not here right now. Of course, he's asleep. I don't know somewhere. But I like, I like the fact that nobody's watching this. It's like a journal. Um, I get to be alone with my thoughts and if you're watching this now sometime later on it's 2 a.m. where I am at and I just feel like I can't go to bed if I don't set this straight it's the first of the month a lot of opportunities has presented itself basically the Delta variant has taken over the world again Vaccines are there, but all it do, all it can do is just boost your immune system. But there's a big possibility you can still get this thing, and and that's what's overrunning my hometown of CDOC, and probably a heads up for some ECQ or MECQ for the northern part of the Philippines. And that's only going to prolong this travel ban. And I heard somewhere in the States that their the cases are again rising because they're not wearing masks there anymore. But I could be wrong. Um, I didn't do my research yet, but it's just gratitude. If, you're, if you ever find yourself not having COVID, of course, or not sick, but encountering some difficulties right now. Just step back and evaluate. You don't have to compare yourself to someone's life, but just take a step back and see the upside of things. And discover for yourself why you are there for a reason. That took me a while, and it took me a while to accept that this thing will never, this, this, this pandemic, this pandemic will be over. I mean, this travel ban will be over. That took a while. It took a while for me to accept that, but 
since um, where I'm here now. It's been a while and I have I have gone comfortable with that. And again, it's just gratitude that you're still alive and there are people, like very good people out there to help. And I think it's just during dire times we have to rely on people as well. Even though we have to be far away from each other, like social distancing, get getting each and everyone getting their vaccines, but I think it's about having to rely on each other. And I realized that during this past three months I've been here and people have helped me out and some relatives have helped me out and I'm very thankful for them. Um, family has helped, friends have helped, so on and so forth. And you can't repay that. It's priceless and you can't. So you got, if you're ever in a, in a tough situation, be grateful and also don't be afraid to ask for help. It's the first of the month. If you're listening to this, um, be grateful. You're alive, you can still do something. You can still make a difference in this world. Um, that's just my 2 a.m. thoughts for today. And hope everyone has a good night's sleep. Hope everyone wakes up in the right side of the bed. And my huge upside today is gratitude. Still alive, still kicking. And that's it, my brothers. Take care and peace and be grateful. Lover videos, please click the like button or hit subscribe. This is the huge upside.